Hello, mate. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. How about yourself? Chipper, top of the morning, another beautiful day, weeks gone by, and life is good. What about yourself? Yeah, I'm pleased. It always inspires me when I see you so chipper and upbeat. It must be all of that sunshine that you get up there in that North Island. If only it could go on forever. If only it could. Which leads me to my question. Would you want to live forever? Mm. Do I have to live forever in my same circumstances? (laughs) (laughs) Good point. That may be something I've written down. Explain. Would I want to live forever in my same circumstances, such as working my butt off, being up late at night, sorting out stupid cats and dogs that are keeping me up all through the night and um, <laughs> uh, painting and decorating cafes and things like that. Would I, I, If that was going to be my forever life, I don't know that I would. But would I like to live forever? If I could live forever and have the ability to just move around everywhere and, and see much and across a broad swathe of time, then there's a part of me that says, yes, I would. I would like to, because I'm really curious comes with a number of sort of little hooks for me really i'm really really curious about the passage of time i'm quite intrigued as to how things were hundreds of years ago how we record them in our history and how we present them today and how we think about them today so i'd actually quite like to be around in a couple of hundred years time and to be sat in a pub with somebody telling me if there are such things as pub, because they've probably all been banned because they're bad for the climate or something. But if they weren't banned, somebody would be telling me about, oh, yeah, well, you know about the Falklands War in 1982. And I'd go, tell me about it. And then they'd tell me some cock and bull story about the Falklands War, because that's what history now tells us the Falklands War was, or whatever it might have been from the area that I sort of have been born and living in, the 70s, the 80s, the 60s, whatever it was. Oh, they they brought these things out in the 80s and they called them compact discs and they contained everything. And you go, know, did they? Is that how it was? Yeah, that's how people think it was. So I'd be really interested to see how mistakes of the past are then repeated in the future. I'd be really interested to see how that all worked. And also, one of the things about dying is not so much dying, the process of dying I don't much like the idea of, it's the hurt that it leaves others. So I would rather them not have to suffer that hurt. And so therefore, if I didn't die, they wouldn't suffer that hurt. I would suffer hurt by seeing them go, but that's okay (laughs) because I can can cope with that. Right. But I wouldn't want them to have to suffer me going. I'm not sold on it. (laughs) I just think it could be quite interesting. I've got a list of for and against. Is it you all smart up there in that there North Island? That's right. This is what you, you have to be smart to live up here, I tell you. Would I live forever? I don't know why I wrote this down. I don't think it's even related. But could you imagine living forever, never dying, and then committing a crime and you have to go to prison? They'd be wondering why you're not ageing. It'd be very odd. I wouldn't want to live forever for... Well, I possibly would, but there'd be one condition. I work with the elderly. Now, you look, especially men, you look at an elderly man, their ears are massive because they never stop growing. If you lived forever, we'd look like elephants. There'd be massive ears flapping around. So for vanity, no, I wouldn't want to live forever. And also, as you mentioned, if you're not sound in body, if you don't like your body, if you've got body dysmorphia or you have this disconnect, how tedious would it be (laughs) to live forever? And you think every area you're going through is, is stuffed with morons. And also, I think it was Tolkien who really put it well with the elves. They're very melancholy because, as you say... They see people dying. Now, the gift of man in the Tolkien universe is to be allotted a certain amount of time. It's a bit like Genesis, isn't it? You know, you get 120 years, possibly. So I wouldn't. 